Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now, we haven't posted in a while, but there's a reason we're posting right now is because we've got something very exciting to show you today. In fact, I've got my hands on it right now. This is the ZTE G5 Wi-Fi 7 5G router. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to show you all about it. This is really, really good. Let's get stuck in. So the reason why uh, this is going to be a really big deal is because this is armed with Wi-Fi 7. Now Wi-Fi 7 is the latest Wi-Fi technology, so you're gonna be guaranteed absolutely rapid speeds. Now I'm gonna go into the specifics of how fast in just a moment, but it is going to blow you away alongside many other great attributes of this router. So without any further ado, let me show you all about it. So this is the box that it comes in. Don't forget, this is a brand new device. It's going to be boxed up, factory sealed. Now let's open it up and run you through the contents. As soon as you uh, open the box, you'll see you get your quick starter guide as standard. Of course, you're going to get your router. And as well as that, when you open this flap here, uh, you're going to get all your necessary cables. So let's open the router and just show you it as a first impression. As you can see, relatively good size. But one thing you can notice straight away is the sleek and portable nature of this router. This is something that you can plug in pretty much anywhere you like and it's gonna be working extremely effectively but also looking damn good as well. So as you can see as I'm holding it in my hands right now, this is a nice lightweight portable router that is not going to take up much space and it's also going to fit perfectly in every room. You can tell it's 5G ready thanks to the red 5G logo on the router. And as previously showcased as well, you're gonna be receiving your power and your ethernet cables in the box as well. So let's give you an idea of what you're gonna get here, the contents of the router. So for starters, at the top, this is of course the power key. You press down to turn on the device and then when you want to turn it off, just press again, the key springs back. Uh, here is the external antenna connector. So these connect to the external antennas that you want to use. This right here is the USB Type-C jack. The device supports USB storage function. Uh, you'll need to connect your storage device to the jack and use the ZTE Smart Life app to enable this function to manage the storage device. Uh, this here is a phone port. You can connect that to the telephone. Uh, this one here is the LAN port that you can connect to a PC. Uh, this is a WAN slash NAN port at the bottom that you can connect to the WAN or connect to a PC. And this is of course uh, the power port that connects to your power adapter that we've already spoken about to power the device. Now there's a couple of points about the G5 that I want to mention because it is just incredible how fast and effective this router is. For starters, you will be experiencing speeds on this of up to 3,600 megabits per second. That is extremely quick, hence the reason it's Wi-Fi 7, so you're going to have zero lag on your gameplay, incredibly efficient bandwidth. It's going to be an ultra fast, seamless user experience that's not just gonna keep you connected, it's going to keep you connected on super fast megabits. Additionally, not only is this router ridiculously quick, it is also extremely practical for a wide range of people. In fact, this can connect to over 100 devices. 100 devices on just one router, meaning that if you're using this for an office space, for a large cohort of people, or for a very busy household, then this is going to keep everybody connected on super reliable, fast Wi-Fi. As we've been mentioning, this is next level Wi-Fi coverage, guys. Because it's been supported by that Qualcomm platform and because it's Wi-Fi 7 ready, you are going to be receiving support along the lines of 5G NR plus LTE ENDC, which will be giving you global 5G NR band and LTE support, ranging from 600 megahertz to 3.8 gigahertz, guaranteeing you lightning fast coverage. And alongside the coverage being fast, it's also going to be very consistent and reliable. You see, the G5 is supported with 13 DPI high antennas, meaning that you're going to be getting through smart antenna technology, very consistent connections throughout your experience of using this 5G router. The smart antenna technology automatically detects connections, meaning that you are guaranteed a strong, stable connection that backs up the high speeds that you will also receive 
with this router. And additionally, alongside that dual band signal, the two times two MIMO, which is multiple input, multiple output, alongside the 4K QAM ensures an even stabler connection, which is going to be consistent across the up to 120 devices that this thing can connect to. One thing that's fantastic about the G5 router is that there's no broadband required. You just pop your SIM card in and then you can enjoy internet straight away. So I've got, and by the way, any SIM you want, this is a three unlimited SIM that I'm going to put into this to really test this out. Right now, I'm just going to pop the nano SIM into the router and then we'll see just how fast it can go. You can set this up in minutes thanks to the ZTE dedicated app. It's called ZTE Link. It's available on both the Play and App stores. And then, as you can see, you simply connect it to your router via the app and you'll be able to track exactly how quick. Yeah, I'm on it now. Is this the right app? ZTE Smart Life is the one. So we've just come across uh, a problem. We've got the solution. So we thought it, you'd connect this via the ZTE Link app. But in fact, uh, as it says on the box, in fact, uh, there's a new app called ZTE Smart Life. So we will be doing the connection via that app instead. Uh, a dish as well, what you have to do first is connect the router to Wi-Fi on your device. Uh, it's provided on the label. So what we need to do is put the SSID in and the password. And then once we're connected to it on our phone, we can then do a linkage and a speed test. So hold fire. Now, when attempting to connect via the app, you get two different choices. You can either connect it manually or you can connect it via scanning the QR code. Now, inside the box, you get those QR codes. So I'm just gonna quickly scan it via the codes and then log straight in. One point to make as well, you have to either log in or sign up to a ZTE account. Just putting in your email address, your password. Once you've signed up or logged in, uh, everything's gonna start going well. So just give me a second to do that. And if you want to bypass all of that, I've just realized that this router has an NFC feature. So if you've got an NFC device, Here's the NFC area, just attach it to there and it's actually going to then sign you in to the router's Wi-Fi without needing to insert a password. So I'm logged in to my account on ZTE. I'm now logged in and connected to the router. Brilliant stuff. Now we can show you just how fast this is. So we're in a really tight studio and we've already got up to 230 megabits per second download speed. But uh, I wanna go downstairs and test this out even more and I want it faster. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go downstairs and do another test. So we found, let's say, a slightly better location. This is similar to you guys, I suppose. You might have areas in your house that will work best, although it's got loads of good technology that it works really quickly everywhere. Uh, but we've now got it set up in our uh, downstairs area uh, where it's a less of a tight confined space. So I reckon the score on this is gonna be really, really high. Let's do a test. So now we've got it set up downstairs. Let's do another speed test on this. As you can see, it's ready to go. All you gotta do on the app is just go onto network and then network speed test, and then you're good to go. Let's, let's test this out. is considerably better. As you can see, we've simply moved it in another room and we're getting high speeds. I reckon that can just go higher and higher depending on your location. Don't forget, up to 3,600 megabits per second, but 642, I mean, that is rapid in its own way. So after this video, it's clear to see the G5 is an absolute revelation. The Wi-Fi 7 element is an absolute game changer, which is going to really heighten your Wi-Fi performance to the absolute max. That incredible 3,600 megabits per second potential means that you're going to be getting a level and speed of coverage, which is unprecedented really. And the fact that there's no broadband required, you just insert a SIM and you're ready to go, is also really practical, meaning that it's going to work perfectly well for your personal or professional use. This is a really, really good router. Very excited that this is released. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what some of you guys think about it when you grab one yourself. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We're gonna to be posting more frequently on our YouTube account. So if you want to make sure you catch more videos from us, why don't you hit the subscribe button and maybe give us some suggestions 
in the comments as to what routers or other tech products you would like us to break down and review for you. As well as that, there's going to be a blog posted on the Livewire website, which will go into more detail on the G5 and will go through every basis possible. Until then though, thank you ever so much for watching the video and we will be back again soon. This has been Ephones. Have a great rest of your day. See you later.